Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. On this YouTube channel, I bring you the most valuable Forex content. My focus is to bring you free content that you're most likely to pay for from any mentor. So if you are new to this YouTube channel, please like and subscribe and also hit the notification bell so that you can be notified when I upload a new video. Okay, now let's get to it. First, we have two types of order blocks. We have the bearish order block and the bullish order block. Now, the bearish order block, now let's define what is an order block. What is a bearish order block and what is a bullish order block. Now, the bearish order block is the last candle, is the last bearish candle that led, is the last bullish candle that led to a break of a low. The last bullish candle that led to a break of a low okay let's let's fix this here that led to a break of a low and then the bullish or the block this will be the last bearish Candle that led to a break of a high. Now, after defining these things, now let's look at some line examples. So let's say we are in a downward trend like this. Now we have a break of structure here. We have a break of structure here. And a break of structure here. Now where is our other blocks? These are break of structures. Where is our other block? Sorry, uh, that's our break of structure. This one is also our break of structure. Now, where is our other, our, 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 our other block? Our other block is the last bearish candle, which led the last bullish candle, which led to a break of this structure and also the last bullish candle here which led to a break of the structure now in this case our other block would be found here our other block would be found here also our other block here would be found here This is quite simple guys. So that's how you understand other blocks. This is a bearish order block. Now let's let's look, let's take a look at the bullish order block. Now the bullish order block is the last bearish candle that led to a break of a high. That means price will be coming down. Will price will be coming up? One, two, three something like that now where is our break of structure our break of structure is here is our break of structure those are our break of structure
Now where is our bullish order block? Our bullish order block is on the last candle, probably here, which led to a break of structure. And which structure? The high structure. It took out the low. Here we have our order block. This is quite simple, guys, to understand. So this is this is not like the advanced stuff. This is just like the basic stuff you have to understand about other blocks. Now let's go to the chat and try to find some examples of other blocks. Remember, as you can see here, we already have an example. It's the last candle that led to a break of structure. Now we have this high over here. Where is the other block? The other block is this candle here. This other block is the last candle. Obviously, you don't trade other blocks alone. You have to have a confluence of other blocks with maybe structure and other things. And we also have, here we had a break of structure. Here we had a break of structure. We had a break of structure there. And as you can see, the last candle, the break of structure, this candle here would be our other block. I don't want to confuse you guys, give you many details all at once, but uh, that's how you spot your other blocks. Obviously, you need to have a confluence of maybe structure, maybe other blocks, uh, change of character. Uh, uh, please let me know in the comment section if you'd like me to make a video about change of character, how you can have a confluence of change of character, other blocks, and also how to read the market structure. But that's how you spot other blocks. And by the way, guys, we have uh, three types. Three. I, I have three ways where I spot my other blocks. Let me just let me just show you how I spot my other blocks. The first kind of other block. Let me let me delete that. The first kind of other block is when I have. Uh, one candle let's make that uh, red and then another candle here and then obviously that candle has to have a wick So this would be a perfect other block for me. I expect that the I expect the next candle to engulf all of these. So that's how I would mark my other block. So I expect price to move away from this point, go up, and then to come back and touch my other block, and then start moving away from it. That's the first other block that I look for. The other kind of other block. Is this kind of other block this kind of other block this kind of other block Go ahead and put some wicks in there. Yeah, something like that. Now, here, this kind of other block, I would mark this part as my other block. This part. Now, for you to consider this as an other block, the first candle must be higher than the first, must be bigger than the, the second one. And then the second, then the third one must be bigger than all of them, because this, if you see something like this in the five minutes, you should know that in a higher time frame like the fifteen or the thirty minutes, we now have an other block. 
so this is how i would expect it to play out i would expect the market to move away from this part here and then come back into the other block maybe the 50 percent of it mitigated and start pushing up so that's how i would look for my other blocks now the the last part of the other the, the, the last kind of other block that i look for is when we have a candle this one i spot it on a single candle if we have something like that and then we start having we on that candle we have a very long week that candle has a very long week so if it has a very long week that's how we know that okay here if you dive into the lower time frames there's another block so this part over here would be the other block so that's the third type of the other block so this is the weak other block and then this one is the normal other block this is this one is an other block that you can only see on a higher time frame and then it changes when you dive into the lower time frame that's it for this video guys uh if you enjoyed this video please leave a comment and a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe to help this channel grow